The reason I prefer running in the mountains and more difficult terrain is you don't have the time to think about other things. You're only focused on the rocks or the roots or like where you're putting your foot next. Once everything is kind of cleared out of your mind, you can really focus on where you are. So I want to be present, be aware of people around me and be aware of what my own body is doing. The Hot Traverse started within the huts and started as an AMC tradition. And so it's really wonderful to have the FKT be held by someone who has a connection to the Appalachian Mountain Club and to these, these huts and these places that we all love. Started working in the huts in 2011 and I was 19 and just finished my first year of college. So every summer I would pack my car at Middlebury and drive to the Whites. The huts were like a second home. My name is James Wrigley. I'm the director of Huts uh, here for the Appalachian Mountain Club in the White Mountains. Contrary to popular belief, we're not an ultramarathon factory. The mission of the AMC is to get people outdoors and appreciating the outdoors, whether that is in a local park uh, or a close to home destination. Over the years, the Hut crew have undertaken what's called a Hut Traverse, and that's starting at Carter Notch, going west all the way to Lonesome. And that's 52 miles of trail. Generally, the goal is to do it in a 24-hour period. When I first learned of the Hut Traverse, I, I mean, I thought it was totally crazy and like impossible. It's said to be around 50 miles, and then there's around 15,000 feet of elevation gain and a lot of rocks. When I met Katie, I totally knew that it was a good opportunity to run with my girlfriend because I knew that she was fast. So I think the origin of our relationship is like running together and sharing things. Initially, I thought it was going to be like a run below tree line. We have like really clean footing. But then I saw the waiver, I saw the footing. They are really technical, really rough. Then I saw that it was like way harder than I thought. Right now, the, the person who holds the FKT right now isn't a past hut crew. Yeah, I think the hut crew really wants, they really like having someone from the huts having the hut traverse record. So I hope I can bring that back to them. 5 heures du matin, Etats-Unis, White Mountains. Katie, are you ready? Are we? But I'm a little tired. <laughs> Thing. If she's tired, she's angry. Let's go for breakfast. Thursday, um, the day of Katie's Hut Traverse the tent. Um, we are currently awaiting her arrival and expect her to be here around 7 a.m. How <laughs> fun! We run like in step together. They're like so synchronized. Yeah, it's like nice to see her so strong, standing so strong. Yeah. And yeah. And mm -hmm. boom, she's gone. My name is Jean Langangier. Um, I grew in the mountains in France, uh, in the Alps. And uh, I found myself uh, really into mountaineering and trail running. I think the, like, my whole interest in trail running really started from working in these huts. We've been tracking Katie Scheid and her hut traverse FKT attempt all day. I think FKTs can be less personal, and I think with the Hot Traverse it's a bit more personal because it's trails we know really well, and it's more like places we live than, than just a trail you drive to and start running on. The current record stands at 14.30, I think. It was set last summer. Every record that's been set has been incremental by about 45 to 50 minutes or so, and 
I'm just super excited to see it all by hours this time. My name is Bailey. I have not run uh, the Hutch Reverse, but I've heard a lot about it. We actually have a crew member from Lakes running it today, but definitely not in the time that Katie's looking to run it. Um, I've heard that she's a Hutch legend and has definitely been a crusher on the trails and has a lot of uh, running experience. 12 hours for 50 miles in the White Mountains is ungodly. I don't really know what my limits are right now. I think Jarmo would like to see me smiling less during a race because he knows that, that there's probably something left in me to give. All right, check this out. They're currently moving at over eight kilometers an hour. We're talking like five mile an hour pace. They are motoring right now through one of the hardest sections. They're coming up on uh, Garfield and the false summits of uh, Lafayette. So there's definitely more more uh, difficult terrain coming at them, but it looks like they're moving really well. I'm so stoked. I think it's possible for a woman to take the overall Hutcherverse record right now. The whole Hutcherverse book time is 40 hours and 18 oh, sure, minutes. Sure, I added sure, it all up. Yeah. yeah, it took me 20 hours and 30 minutes to do that course. It took me 19 hours. She is just at the final climb up Garfield Ridge Trail. So she's about an hour and a half ahead of pace. She's totally crushing. Katie, keep crushing it. We're thinking of you. This is the hardest part, going from Garfield to Greenleaf and then back over here. My parents don't get a lot of opportunities to watch us run. They follow us on, on all the live tracking, if races have that. But I've never actually seen them following a live feed. I've heard that they're crazy, but I assume that they were very nervous and very excited and very proud of us. Woo! I think for the Hutchiverse FKT, it's a lot more than a speed record. The whole experience of it is traversing across a place that crew members have grown up and become who they are today. It's about journeying through a place that we deeply love and deeply care about. It's more about the journey and the experience of doing it. And if you do it fast, that's awesome. I think when you win a race, it's like you end in a town and, or somewhere and there's people and there's cheering and you stand on a podium and you get things and then you have your picture taken. And I think the history of the Hutch Traverse, we didn't have any of this. It feels like something that you kind of share with other people. There's still so many people, so many past crew members who have done the Hutch Traverse. It's more just like having another thing to share with them and talk about. Sharing it with Sharma was really cool because normally there isn't as much history behind what we're doing together. And now I feel like he, he will understand more small references I make to the whites. <laughs> 